Every day, women face challenges that people fail to recognize or rectify. Women are told to smile. They're told to be humble and selfless. They're told to be good mothers and good people in society. They're told to be so selfless that they lose a part of themselves in the process. They're asked if they're on their period, if they make an off comment on a day when they're impatient and they're not perfect. They're belittled in cases of sexual assault and they're never truly listened to. For women to be truly equal in this country, people need to stand up and stop allowing these inappropriate comments and injustices to occur. Women are scared every day to run down the street at night and I'm sick of living in a world where I don't feel safe. Eight states don't allow abortions. Eight states still have laws that restrict women's bodies. Women are expected to look and act a certain way. They're expected to be perfect and beautiful and confident while also being mild and simply humble. Sizes and sores are getting smaller and smaller, so women have to conform. The ideal body size changes every year and women are expected to fit it. Women are expected not to have hip dips. They're expected to be tall and thin while also being curvy and having a big butt and big boobs and it's horrible. I'm so tired of having to conform to these expectations. I am so tired of watching beautiful women get upset about how their body doesn't fit their ideal version of itself. This is only perpetuated when people continue to make comments like, oh, you look great after you lost that weight, or oh, you're too thin, you should really eat something. By eliminating those comments, a big part of this social structure will be started to, will start to be chipped away. According to rain.org, one out of every six women in America has been a victim of attempted or completed rape. One out of every six women has been an attempted or completed victim of rape. That statistic is shocking and staggering and heartbreaking. Most of these cases come from a lack of understanding about consent. In order to prevent so many rape cases, people need to, to understand when consent is or isn't given. If the girl is drunk, consent is not given. If she says yes, but later revokes it, consent is not given. If she is if she cannot physically consent and she's under the age, consent is not given. Understanding consent is a way to make women feel safer and lessen the huge number of rape victims in this country. Rape and body image are two huge issues. But smaller issues such as offhanded comments are also a huge way of alienating women. As I mentioned er earlier, being told that you're on your period just because you made an offhand comment is another way of belittling women. Being told to always smile and look beautiful is another way of belittling women. In order to truly demolish this system and have women become included and accepted in society, people need to begin to change their language and the way that they act. They need to take steps to make women feel safer so that walking down the street at night is not such a huge challenge. 
They need to allow women to have control over their bodies and they need to let women feel included no matter what they look like because women are not just objects to be admired and appraised. I urge you to take the time to, t to implement these steps in your life and treat women with the respect that you, would retreat, that you would treat anyone. Women deserve it. Everyone deserves respect. By taking these steps, you can help this gap of respect and equality to lessen.